I want to talk about improvement today and more importantly, how we're going to get over the mountain that you're facing inside of Counter-Strike in order to get to the top where you belong. I want to take you from being at the lowest level, your lowest point in your CS journey, maybe even your life and understand how we're going to move past all of these difficulties, all of these hardships and make sure you are the best player you possibly can be. Because honestly, guys, a lot of you are scared of improvement. You're scared of doing what it actually takes to make it to the top and break through the ceiling that you found yourself under right we're gonna learn today how we're gonna take that ceiling off and make sure that the sky is our limit because you guys are all capable of greatness and every single one of you could have what it takes in order to become a professional player at this game just a high level player whatever goal you want we're gonna learn how we're gonna take that huge goal and break it down in order to make sure that it is more achievable but guys before i get into the video i just have to give you a message from the sponsor of today's video Hey guys, make sure to check out CSGO Net. On CSGO Net, you can play with upgrades, trade-ups, and of course, so many different cases with extremely cool drops inside. Here is an example of one of the cases. I unboxed a pair of Shadow Daggers Doppler for huge profit. I also used their upgrade feature to get an M4A1S skin that I love while making profit with it. Withdrawing on the site is extremely easy. Simply go to your profile, find the skin that you want, and click Claim. So guys, if you want to play on CSGO Net, they have so many options on how to deposit. If you use code KOJOMO, you will get a 40% bonus to your deposit. That is insane. For those of you lucky enough, there's a limited code KOJO that will get you a 100% bonus on your deposit. Link to CSGO Net will be in the description. All right, guys. So let's talk about it. A lot of you guys, like I said, are extremely, extremely scared of improving, right? And this doesn't make sense to a lot of you because why, bro, everyone wants to improve, right? We all want to improve, but that's not true. Us as humans, especially in Counter-Strike, we want to be comfortable. We want to be winning all the time. We want to be playing players that we're going to be, we want to be the best player, right? But one thing you got to understand is that's not going to just happen, right? There is millions of Counter-Strike players. So what separates you from a dude that is playing at his peak? He's playing the best he possibly can be, right? You, you know, you're not going to be the highest level every single day that you hop on, right? So one thing we got to realize, guys, is the only way to truly improve is by learning from those who are better, right? And you can take this both in team CS and also in individual CS in order to make sure that you're grinding and rising to the top in both the kind of categories within the game, right? Take example for Team CS. You're only going to get better as a team if you are scrimming and practicing against the hardest teams you possibly can, right? But Kojo, I, I want to win. I want to practice stuff that's going to work at teams our level. Well, guess what? Well, why practice down the, uh, to the lowest level you possibly can? Why not practice against teams that are truly going to push you to your limits and are going to show you what is possible if you are more cohesive and as a unit? If you're an open team, why not try to get scrims against main teams? If you're an uh, advanced team, get scrims against pro teams. It's going to happen. And when you get those scrims, guys, truly try to get as much out of it as you can. Now, let's talk about the individual side of this, right? When we're playing individually inside of Counter-Strike, we need to try to develop ourselves and learn from those who are better as well. When we are in a matchmaking game, when we are in a pug, we are learning from our teammates. We are learning from the other team. Say the enemy team throws a really cool one way or something that literally gets a guy an ace. The worst player on the team gets an ace, but he threw a crazy one way. Well, dude, what what smoke did he throw? Let's learn that. Let's download the demo and learn when he throws so that in our next game, we can abuse that. We can utilize that. Man, how is this guy always flanking behind us? Well, let's look at the timings and let's let's watch what he's doing and what he hears and sees and why he's making those decisions, right? We're never going to get better if we are scared of, of learning from those who are better. We're never going to get better if we are scared of losing. Embrace losing. Losing is what is going to make you. It's going to build your character and help you rise to the top and build up that base right we're gonna we're gonna lose and we're gonna lose and we're gonna lose but we are learning we're learning more and more the more we lose right the bigger the losses the more there is to learn right you need to lose every single way you possibly can inside of counter-strike in order to make sure it never happens again right sometimes you're going to lose games and rounds because you've never encountered that situation before you have no idea how to effectively you know take control of the situation and win that but as soon as you lose that round, now in your mind, you need to bookmark that and save that so that you never lose that round in that way again, right? And then you turn a bad thing into a positive thing going forward, 
right? The only way you can become a winner in this game is be by being a loser first. Losers are the true winners, man. Simple, ha look at simple, right? The uh, top player in the world for many years. Did he just get there? Absolutely not. Even look at when he was going to the top on Team Liquid. He struggled and struggled. His team struggled, right? You're always going to face these challenges. And I hate to break it to you guys, but the challenges are never going to end. And if anything, they are only going to get more intense and bigger mountains to climb, right? As soon as you get over that first hill, there's going to be a bigger one. And as soon as you get over that bigger hill, it's going to be a, a mountain and then a bigger mountain, right? You're never, ever going to stop facing these challenges and do not expect an easy path, right? If you want to compete in any aspect of life, if you want to compete in CS, you want to compete within just life in general, you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to fight and face these challenges every day and do stuff that you do not want to do. Trust me, losing is not fun by any means. It is the least fun thing, right? But put yourself in that uncomfortable situation for an hour put yourself in that uncomfortable moment so that afterwards you can just gain this knowledge and make sure that you are utilizing it properly that is what is going to separate you from those that don't want to make it those of you that are watching right now understand this right you have this mentality that you want to learn and you want to get better because you're watching this video so don't be discouraged when you're losing because that means that you have an opportunity to grow and become the player that is beating you guys do not ever get discouraged and there's going to be days where you lose 10 games in a row right there's going to be days where you cannot get a single thing working right but what are we going to do we're going to practice our comms we're going to practice our positioning those are two things right there that do not it does not matter if you are, are shooting bad it does not matter if you cannot frag out those are two things you can control and you can always always make sure that you are doing these inside of the game there's no excuse to not improving guys i'm here to teach you i'm here to help you get to the top and let me know any questions you have thank you so much for watching this video you are all awesome let's have a great year peace out